Hello, everybody. My name is Barry Johnson. Welcome back to another edition of Studio Talk. Today's subject matter is a pretty simple one, so this video is not going to be that long, so we're not going to do the whole intro and all that stuff. We're just going to cut straight to the topic at hand. Okay. So obviously, if you read the, if you looked at the thumbnail or read the title, you know the question is quite simple. Okay, I've got a project studio at home, or I want to start a project studio at home. Okay, so what is my best option? Obviously, the cornerstone of that has to be a computer. It's kind of hard to have a DAW system at home without a computer. Okay, uh, and I said digital audio workstation. I didn't say you couldn't record at home without a computer. So blah 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 blah. Okay, anyway, <laughs> so you gotta have a computer. So you know you got two types out there, right? For the most part, we're gonna keep this real simple. Okay, okay, you've got a desktop and you got a laptop. Okay. That's what you've got are all in one on a laptop. You've got a portable computer and a not so portable computer. Let me say it like that, which is the way to go. Okay. So what are some of the advantages and disadvantages of a laptop in the studio? Okay. Some of the advantages to having a laptop in the studio is it's very easy to take your stuff and on the go, wherever you've got to go. If you need find that you need, maybe you travel a lot and you need to mix while you're out on the road or edit, maybe not mix, but edit while you're out on the road and do things like that, having a laptop comes in handy. For me, as an example, I have a, an M1 uh, Pro, MacBook Pro, um, for my studio today, but Honestly, the reason I have a laptop today has nothing to do with the audio stuff. It's all because of the video, because I find myself going to different locations and everything like that. And I, sometimes I'll take my computer just to get a break and go to a, a local uh, place that I love going. You've probably seen pictures or I mean, they're Bach Tower Gardens. And it's a beautiful place out there where I just want to just kind of get my Zen going on, you know. And so I like, you know, today I would normally do it. But today I got to change the rotors and brakes on my Explorer. Okay. Uh, so today I'm not going to, otherwise I'd take a lot of these videos that I'm recording today. Okay. And if, yeah, that's right. I actually record multiple videos on the same day because I got a real job. Okay. And so ultimately I take that with me and I'll take these videos with me and I'll edit while I'm sitting there. I'll have something to drink, maybe get something to eat and just sit there outside on the table in the beautiful weather and the beautiful sunshine and edit away. Okay. That's handy having that. The odds I need to do that for an audio situ situation is pretty slim. Okay. So the portability aspect, if it's viable for you, is an option. Some of the downsides to a laptop, okay, is generally speaking, historically, you cannot get as much power, computing power, in a laptop that you can in the desktop. The majority of the reason for that is ultimately has to do with the thinness, the size factor, okay, which ultimately impacts the ability to cool that CPU inside of it. Now, granted, the M1 and the M1 Pro uh, and the M1 Max have proven those are in the portable computers today. They have proven to be beasts, okay, and very, very, very powerful CPUs, as well as Intel's Alder Bridge or Alder Lake. I can't remember what they call it, but that also is, my goodness, that looks fantastic, okay? But they come in a compromise, okay? You also don't have an ability of a laptop if you need to upgrade your heart, your SSD, you need to add more RAM. A lot of times that's more complicated depending on the brand that you buy. Some of them are integrated in. Definitely Apple is these days. So that's something to consider. Okay. But there's some Windows machines out there that, that still give you the ability to do that. Okay. But for the most part, I think it's ultimately down to graphics performance. Okay. Your GPU as well as your CPU. Okay. You're going to get much better performance in a out of a desktop than you are out of a laptop as a general rule. Now, of course, you can find a more powerful laptop than a desktop, but that's not an apples to apples discussion, okay? You gotta find two that, you know, kind of are competing, maybe the same type of CPU. So ultimately, that's a big downside to that side of it, okay? Um, and, and so I'll be honest with you, when I'm doing audio, that laptop is just a pain in my butt. I actually bought a stand just to get it out of the way. I don't even use a screen for it anymore, but when I do video, I love it. Okay. I love it. Okay. As far as a desktop is concerned, desktops, you can typically, and I highly recommend this for most of you, if you're on the windows side of things, build your own computer. Okay. You can build it from scratch. Okay. Maybe you have the technical expertise to build yourself a laptop from scratch. Then good luck. Make a video of it because I'll watch it. I'm curious. But for most mortal people, that's just not something they're considering doing. But you can build a desktop. As an example, I recently, my son and I built him a desktop gaming computer. Okay. A powerful little beast he's got over there in his bedroom and he loves it. Okay. And so we built that from scratch. Okay. 
Many times the specs of gaming computers are very similar to the specs you would need for audio because they're both demanding type things, okay? As well as video, okay? So if you can do any of the three of those and do it well, then you're likely to do able to do all of the three. So, so if you get a desktop, you've got the ability to build it yourself and then you can change things out as you wanna go. Changing out your SSD, no problem. Open up the side of the case, change it out. Want to change the CPU? Got a faster one coming up? No problem. Take the side off of it. Take the CPU out. Put another one in. Want to increase your graphics card? No problem. Take the side off of it. Open the card up. Put a new one in. Okay. You get where I'm going with this. Okay. So if with a desktop, you're going to get for your money, a lot more power. Okay. You're going to get the ability to be able to modify it as you want. You're going to have the ability to build it to order as you want, get the exact components. Uh, this may shock a lot of you out there, but if you're buying a Windows computer off the shelf, the odds of that computer working well for um, DAW work is like nada. I mean like nada, okay? Um, basically any Mac will work and right out of the gate because they're kind of designed to work that way. It's not a Mac versus PC. You just can't pick any PC, okay? That's why most people build their own PC when they're gaming or when they're doing video work or whether they're doing digital audio workstation work. Most people build their own or hire a company to build it for them. Now, let me break it down to you. Building a computer is so ridiculously easy. I'm talking... Literally, a 12-year-old has no problem doing, okay? It's that simple. Lots of videos out there. So if you're shy about it, trust me, you can do it, okay? So there's pros and cons to both sides. of. I think most people probably end up on the desktop side of things because power is important to us. So if you need portability, and that's really the number one thing, if you feel like you will actually take advantage of that portability on a very frequent basis, then consider a laptop. Just know you're not going to get as much performance for your money as you would if you went for a desktop. If you don't need that, then go with the desktop, okay? Either buy a pre-made Apple product or build your own Windows computer from scratch or hire somebody to do it. Lots of companies, there's not lots, but there's companies out there that do it specifically for the type of workstations that we would need, okay? The biggest problem with off-the-shelf Windows computers is just about everything is integrated into the motherboard. Your GPU is integrated into the motherboard instead of a separate GPU um, card in it, okay? Your, your multimedia is typically integrated, although that's not that big of a deal. Okay, so you have a lot of integration that happens. And so when you have that, that comes at a sacrifice. That's why they're meant for all around surfing the internet, doing Microsoft Office, things like that. Those computers are fine for doing that, but they're not super powerful historically, okay, for uh, digital audio workstation stuff. That's kind of what these new Macs, M1 Macs that are coming out, even the M1 MacBook Air. Oh my gosh, that thing is a freaking beast for right around 1100 bucks, getting it properly specced. Okay, gosh, oh gosh, okay. So anyway, so that's kind of the difference. Now, some minimum things, faux show, okay? Under no circumstances, get anything less than a one terabyte system drive, okay? Obviously on a desktop, you can get bigger, it's more, but a one terabyte minimum, you want an SSD, preferably an NMVE uh, drive on it, okay? You wanna make sure that you, you get that, okay? That, 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 that's really, 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 really important, okay? Um, and so... Consider these things. There's a lot of things to consider in this whole process, but just make sure that um, that you're that you're going to be uh, satisfied with what you're buying because you may end up regretting it later on. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you'll do me a favor, leave some comments down below. Tell me what you think about this. Tell me about your experiences with this. Love to hear some comments from you guys. Okay, but in the meantime, do me a favor, hit that like button and go over to that subscribe button. And then if you can find your way over to that uh, notification bell, I'd really appreciate it. I work hard to put these videos out for you guys and I'm doing it for you. Okay, so until next time, I hope every one of you have a great day. Goodbye.